And off they go. The Nigerian out wide is uh, gone off strong, but is the Tunisian Ahmed Saeed who's immediately closed in on him as they uh, approach the change of the zone. And there it is, getting on the inside. The Tunisian is looking at his left side because he's not trying to get in front. And that's what exactly is a good strategy. He wants the Abyss to take the lead. And he's refusing to be boxed in, so he would rather be on the outside. It's difficult to run on the outside because you are running a longer distance, but it gives you a chance. I like Alex, who is right there in the middle and be hoping to stay with the Kenyan and the um, Ugandans as they go into the final lap. But right now, he's, he's really in a difficult position and would have to find a way to come out when it's time for the final lap. I guarantee you this is going to be fast because it's really anybody's right now. It's led by Uganda's Ingeno, uh, Kenya's Ingeno and Uganda's Dadriga Tom. And Ingeno, yeah, the two out in front. Ingeno is keeping up with Tom. Yeah, also very experienced. He's a former silver medalist at the IWF Under 20 World Championship. Alex is running on the outside. On the outside. The Ghanaian on the back straight here as they approach the final. 150 meters or so. How much can he keep this up? The Kenyan is keeping up with him really strongly. Question is whether he's kicked too early. So Ngeno against Alex. Ngeno looks really focused. Alex himself has got an eye out there. How much can he keep up with this? Look at the Ugandan. He's also coming strong. That Riga Tom, but Alex is keeping up with the Kenyan. Alex Amankwa comes to his second, but it's the Kenyan. Kip gets it in Geno, who has taken the win, but the home crowd excited about their countryman finishing in second place. He had to give them a show. He promised a show. Certainly, that was a show. Well, perhaps we spoke too early about his best years being behind him, but, you know, this crowd virtually wailed him over the line this evening. And... Um, but there was no doubt in Geno keeping touch was the main man here, controlling the race brilliantly. And it was intelligent running from Alex to step out to give himself a fighting opportunity of getting to the front. If he had stayed in the middle, that would have been difficult for him.